Welcome back to our mountain test course. Today, it's not about my 2022 Ford Ranger Tremor Edition. Nope, it's about the tires. You see, we have the all new Falcon Wild Peak Rugged Terrains. We're gonna put them to the test right now on Driving Sports TV. This is my 2022 Ford Ranger Tremor Edition. I bought it last year from a dealer as a long-term tester, and I've really enjoyed it. Since I bought it, I have added a number of upgrades, including the Yakima rack with a platform, the Ford Performance Power Upgrade Kit, and I also added an EVCX throttle controller from Ultimate 9. The EVCX is an easy to install controller available for most trucks and SUVs. Just install the included interface cable, pair your phone, and you're ready to go. You can also control it directly on the display. Set it up for improved traction, performance, or lock out the throttle altogether for the ultimate security. Thanks to the Ford Performance Power Upgrade, my Tremor now makes a peak 315 horsepower and 370 pound-feet of torque. Not bad. And today we're testing perhaps the most important upgrade you can do to any vehicle, the tires. This is now equipped with a set of five Falcon Wild Peak RTs. If you watch this channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. It's just a great all-around all-terrain tire. This new RT takes that same formula, but goes even further off the beaten path. It features large, deep treads for extra bite. I also optioned the 10-ply design, which is extra durable. This tire is specifically designed for high-performance trucks and SUVs. Falcon includes a warranty on the tire for up to 50,000 miles. I opted to go with the stock size of 265.70R17. Price of a set of four goes for about 1300 US dollars if you shop around. So today we're out here at our mountain test course to put these Wild Peak RTs to the test. Okay, so Falcon Wild Peak RTs. These are basically a more aggressive version of the AT3W. Also, these are not peak rated for snow, so they're not gonna be as good in snowy, icy conditions. Now, specifically, the peak rating means that they're about 10% better, uh, so you're losing 10% with these ones. But in exchange, the theory here is that you get much better off-road performance. So let's see what this can do. Now, the conditions today are dry, which is kind of perfect for an all-terrain. Uh, mud terrains are a different tire, of course, with even more gaps. They basically take things to the next level, uh, but we don't need those today. The downside with mud terrains, oh, <laughs> I'm in rear wheel drive. Let's see if these have enough grip to get us through with rear wheel drive up this course. Oh, not working. Okay, let's go into four high. Our test mountain has been abused over the winter. Uh, we've done a number of tests up here in the snow and then into the spring when things were all very melty and wet. So now I am back and everything is absolutely rutted, which of course is a great opportunity uh, to test out these new tires because tires like this should be able to handle conditions like this, no problem. And so far I am just getting tons of grip on this dry, dusty portion of the course. And this is uh, no slouch of a climb. Let me look at my meters here, uh, pulling it up in the truck info. I'm at a 17 degree climb right now, and this is not even the steepest. So all the way up, oh, yep, no problem. I'm just in four high and we just drove up it like it was no big deal. Uh, but we have some tougher things we're gonna test in just a few minutes here. This thing is rutted. <laughs> the funny thing about testing tires is that if tires are really good and you're putting them in conditions in which, you know, they're designed for, there's no drama there. And so I'm actually expecting very little drama today. Now we are gonna push these tires, you know, basically we're gonna escalate the test as we go. Along the Rattler here, looking good. Okay, and then we got the climb here. This is kind of a steep. And then if I go inward, it's gonna get a little bit of slip here with a big climb at the end. 
Oh, and out we go. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Oh, I think I need, uh, going to four low, I'm out of power here as I lift the whole thing up. And you might notice I actually have a motorbike in the back. Uh, that is to add weight to the back of the vehicle. Uh, what that is is an Upco 2x2 all electric, all wheel drive bike. Let's see, four low, oh yeah, no problem. Climbs right out. So far, no problem for anything here. Okay, let's try the Sidewinder. Now the Sidewinder um, used to have locks on it, but I got a Raptor R completely stuck on it, so the logs are gone. Uh, but I do have some piles of rocks there now, so hopefully that is something of a challenge. So you might be asking, like, what is the difference between um, an all-season, an all-terrain, a rugged terrain, and a mud terrain? Very good question. Um, <laughs> As the names describe the different environments in which they excel, the design of the tire is also very, very different. And typically, as you go from um, all season through mud terrain, the lugs get bigger, they get deeper, uh, and you have more vacant spaces in between the treads. Now, the important thing there is that uh, it gives you more grip and it helps vacate mud and snow out of those blocks. Because if, like, say you have an all season, and it loads up with mud or with snow, then what happens is um, you basically get a slick because there's no, there's no lugs to grab the environment there. Here at the bottom of the Sidewinder, we've added more rocks, slowly building this up into a proper rock crossing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust the EVCX Ultimate 9 uh, to anti-slip setting. I just touch this and it automatically adjusts the EVCX. Uh, that'll give me super smooth throttle. Also, I'm going to set this up to be in four low. And I'm not going to lock that rear diff yet. Let's do this without the locked rear and see what it does. And we're just going to slowly move forward. And I'm cutting all the way into the right to get the steepest climb here. Oh, so smooth. I love that smooth throttle. Okay, we're having a little bit of challenge here. Great, let's uh, switch it up to uh, lock that rear diff and see what that does. So four low, locked rear. Oh yeah, climb right over the rocks. And out we go. Now, this is ridiculously difficult for a small crossover. For a truck like this, if you have a rear locking diff, no problem. So far, I'm really impressed with these. I mean, they are just, I am just walking around the course here. Now, this is typically a pretty tough little segment right here. Oh, but we can climb it. We got grip. We got that grip. Dang, this is great. So far, the roads here at our mountain playground have been no problem for this 2022 Ford Ranger equipped with the Falcon Wild Peak RT tires. So I think the only logical thing to do now is to build an even more challenging road. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna make a quick phone call and get the construction crew out here. And thanks to the magic of video, we have a new road called Python Pass. This is a very steep climb. Uh, it's also very loose right now. It will firm up in the next year. So let's see if this Ford Ranger equipped with the Falcon Wild Peak RTs are up to the task. This is a very steep climb, uh, very twisty, goes through our dead forest and it gets a little bit tighter at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for four low. I'm putting it in drive. I'm not gonna use the locker at first. Let's just see how well we do. I have my fan on full blast, so you might hear that in the background because it is really hot. <laughs> so up we go. Already struggling a little bit. Oh, 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 come on. Are we gonna get this? Ah! Okay, clearly I need to move a little faster. that toe hitch make sure that doesn't drag <sighs> so I'm gonna go a little faster I'm also gonna lock my rear 
just in case we have any wheel lifting issues. And away we go. A little more momentum. Up, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so loose. Come on. Almost have it. We finally made it up the first corner. And now the second, it's gonna get tighter, so I gotta cut it really on the inside. It's gonna lift a wheel up a little bit, and out we go. Woo! <laughs> it took a couple tries, but I finally made it up. Ah, oh, man, I tell you, Python Pass, no joke. But I'm not done yet. I got a plan for something even harder. I wanna build a hill climb now. Now it's time to try our newest feature. We call it the ladder, and it is extraordinarily steep. So uh, let's see how well this Ranger tackles it with these Wild Peak RT tires. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to four low, put it in neutral. Okay, gonna lock that rear, put it into drive. Oh, and I also want to change the throttle control. Anti-slip, okay. This should be our best chances at success. Yeah, first time doesn't always work. So I'm just gonna try to keep a steady climbing pace. 14, whoop, rock. Thank goodness for underbody protection. Okay, we're just digging holes now. <laughs> Let's uh, get out of that little hole there. Okay, let's try this again. See if we can get, I'm gonna two foot it. So that means one foot on brake, one on gas. Try to see if we can get a little momentum here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this is very loose and I'm at 22 degrees and I'm not yet at the steepest part. I think I can probably go a little bit quicker though. So I'm gonna try this one more time before I air down. Come on, you got this, you got this. Oh, don't get the. Ah, we get, ah. We're climbing, but now we're gonna hit the really soft stuff and I don't know if I have enough momentum. What, 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 are we doing it? I'm just keeping my foot to the floor, trying to keep movement going. Holy moly, we're making it. Oh, now I have to go fast here because this is soft on the exit. Woo, did it! Oh, that was a challenge. It's not really a complete tire review unless you test it on a highway because this is where most people spend their time. Uh, and I have to say, these Falcon Wild Peak RTs are not bad. Yeah, you do get a little extra noise over something uh, more mild, like you know the AT3W or the Trail, uh, but I think it's actually a lot quieter than the uh, BFG KO2s. Like I'm driving here and I'm totally comfortable here. I'm not getting any aggravating noise in the back of my head. And even if I slow down, because I was doing 60 there, if I slow down to 40, about 45, I can hear them but it's not annoying, which is great. Now for me to take an epic view in and wrap this up. So we have now conquered every course here at our mountain playground. Uh, yeah, we had to build two new roads, but that's okay. It's part of the fun. So uh, overall, Wild Peak RTs, very impressed with them. Uh, I can't wait to, to try them on another adventure, which hopefully I'll film real soon. For Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douth, and thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share videos. We make them for you, and I hope you enjoy them. You know, that's the Stewart Mountain Range over there, and there's a lake on the other side of that. I think we should go there. <laughs>